When you see one of these, you know right away that it's different. Along with other MF tractors, it stands out from the crowd. It's not just the distinctive appearance that catches the eye. There's something about the way this big 2000 series attacks the work and handles the implement that makes it different. With 147 horsepower up front, a 16-speed gearbox and a rear linkage hydraulic system that senses draft forces through the lower links, there's no shortage of the right ingredients for an outstanding performance. Such a performance the 2000 series certainly have. There are many reasons why this is so, yet none are more important than the fact that the engine, the transmission and hydraulic systems are all perfectly matched to each other to achieve an unsurpassed level of overall efficiency. It's just this sort of difference that has enabled the 2000 series to earn the ultimate distinction of being considered real driver's tractors. For a start, the engines are the sort drivers like. They will often pull a higher gear at a lower engine speed than others. They make gear changing less frequent, so the tractor is that much easier and less tiring to drive. Drivers also like the way the gearbox allows you to change between gears whilst maintaining the same travel speed. It can cut fuel consumption quite a bit over a long day's work. And it's nice to know you've always got the extra traction and stability that comes from four-wheel drive. A good driver always keeps a watchful eye on the implement and makes adjustments whenever required. He knows that a wrongly set implement not only does a bad job, but can spoil the performance of even the best of tractors. With the driver out of the cab, we can see the wide views in all directions you get from the driving seat. They make it easy to drive the tractor with great accuracy. All the most important control levers are grouped to the right of the seat and fall naturally to hand within a small area. The cab isolates the driver from noise and vibrations and provides a superb level of comfort. Adjusting the temperature inside is simple and illustrates how easy it is to maintain the best working environment. The air conditioning and heater controls are contained in a neat console above the front screen. The power steering is light and positive. The push-button operated speed shift lets you change speed ratios on the move. Now let's watch and see how easy it is to handle this big tractor and plow on the headland. If there's one feature to mention at a time like this, it's the reverse shuttle. It gives you immediate reverse or forward drive, so there's never any need to touch the main gear lever. It saves time and effort, and helps to give the tractor the handiness of a much smaller one. Of course, there's a lot more to tell you about these tractors from the driver's point of view. But the time has now come to consider another man of equal importance. The man who's made the investment and is entitled to a good return on his money. The farmer. He knows that when at work, MF's 2000 series tractors give a very high return on capital, fuel and labour costs. He also knows something else which makes them an even better investment. For he knows that even when they're not at work, their design can still save him money.
How this comes about, we're now going to show you. Carried on this removable cover on the side of the tractor are components of the very highest importance. They comprise the hydraulic valves controlling trailer braking, the oil supply for steering and for operating cylinders on such items as implements and loaders. Another valve located here maintains the pressure required to operate the speed shift, the four-wheel drive clutch, the power takeoff clutch and the differential locks. Altogether quite a package. However, there's yet more to come. For when you withdraw the cover, you also withdraw the pump supplying every single hydraulic component on the tractor. It all adds up to time saved, which is money saved. Incredible when you consider the trouble you could have getting at these parts on some other designs around the farm. But even now, we haven't finished in this area. For having removed the pump, you can get at the power takeoff clutch and bring it out in just the same way. On the inside of this cover is located the control valve and related parts for the rear linkage hydraulic system. It makes the point that the same story of easy access to important components continues in many other parts of the tractor. Things have been made easy too when adjustments are necessary. Here we see the maximum lift height of the lower links being adjusted by simply inserting an Allen key through a hole provided for the purpose in the cover. The gearbox selector cover is another important component providing entry through the side of the tractor. With it removed, you can immediately get at all the mechanisms making up the gearbox selector forks and rails. Remember, on other tractors you could waste time and money disturbing the cab to get at these parts. Because the gearbox is operated through the side of the tractor, the control linkage goes up direct to the gear shift levers, offset to the right of the driver's seat. So there are no joints to wear and the levers have a precise, positive action. This is the speed shift and reverse shuttle assembly. You'll notice it's located right at the front of the gearbox. Because of this, it can be removed without disturbing any of the gearbox parts, should you need to work on it. It makes the point that the time-saving, cost-cutting policy of providing easy access to key components continues right through from the outside to the inside of these new generation MF tractors. When you want to get at major components, the tractor can be split in a way that leaves the cab quite undisturbed and supported on jacks at the front and rear. The cab remains stationary while you roll away the parts you want from underneath. It's yet another important design feature that reduces workshop time and costs and sums up quite dramatically what the farmer knew when he made his choice, that even when this tractor isn't working, it's saving him money that other makes could cost him. Back in the field, the same story of money saved through practical design and advanced engineering continues. Who would have thought that this tractor is actually servicing itself as it works? Yet it's true enough, for the clutch and brakes adjust themselves, and their operating cylinders are kept continuously topped up with oil. And to give the driver a visual check that the system is working, this transparent pipe shows the oil flow and is in view from the cab. 
Very much more information comes from the easy-to-read instruments and comprehensive display of warning lights. With full knowledge of how mechanical and hydraulic components are functioning, you get the extra confidence that helps to make a better driver. This is the inside of one of MF's engineering design centers. It's a place where MF tractors are conceived and designed. It's therefore a place where the needs of the tractor driver and farmer are considered above all else. The place where the ultimate mechanical efficiency of a tractor is established. Here, the very latest in computer-aided design and manufacturing systems are employed to enable MF engineers to achieve designs of the highest possible technical excellence in a fraction of the time required by traditional methods. Here we see instructions being given to the computer to bring onto the screen a solid model. Amongst other things, it gives the engineer an automatic analysis of the effects of mechanical and thermal stress on the component at the very earliest stage. This investment in new technology underlines MF's commitment to the future. To the farmer, it's an assurance an assurance that the quality and efficiency of MF engineering that makes the 2000 series different from other tractors will go on to reach new heights of excellence. The farmer sees here a tractor unsurpassed in its ability to protect his investment as a result of its sheer performance and all-round economy. And when the time comes to buy MF again, he knows his future tractor will do even more than this one does today.